um, good afternoon subscribers are going to be going over question two of test two so now um we're being told to find the total derivative with respect to t of this equation so now um x is a variable of t x is, is a function of t then y is also a function of t so now to find the total derivative d u over d t it will be given by the partial derivative of u with respect to x multiplied by the partial derivative of x with respect to t then adding it with the partial derivative with respect to u over the partial derivative the partial derivative of u with respect to um, y multiplied by the partial derivative of y um, with respect to t and that's what we're going to have when this one cancels you have du and this side you also have du and x cancels so which actually um, makes sense so now um, we can start by finding what dx over dt is equal to um, dx over dt that's just 6t and then dy these are partial derivatives by the way so partial dy over partial dt this one will be given by um simply two and then we are going to find the partial derivative of u with respect to x this one will be given by this one here um this one that's here so we're going to have um since it's less an inverse trigonometric function it will um be given by one over whatever is in the brackets here which is two x plus three y then um this is being multiplied this is being multiplied with the partial derivative of whatever is inside then this is squared then you're adding a one by the way yeah so now i'm um, going to multiply it with whatever is the derivative the partial derivative of whatever is inside so i'm um, the partial derivative of what is inside and we are using um new substitution here you are going to have um with respect to x is just going to be given by two so that's um partial du over partial dx is going to be equal to um two over one plus two x plus e um y to the power two and then now um partial du partial dy partial du partial d y is going to be given by um when you look at this one you're going to have one over one plus in brackets you're going to put two x plus three y and then the derivative of whatever is in here is just going to be given by um with respect to that's going to be two so now you have your dx you have your dx dt dy dt du dx and du dy so then you're going to evaluate du over dt is going to be equal to du by dx um that's just this one two over one plus two x plus three y squared and then dx dt will just be six t plus du dy is this one so that will be three when you multiply the three one plus two x plus three y to the power two and then um we're going to multiply it with partial dy over partial dt so partial dy over partial dt is just two then you're going to have the du over dt being equal to um when you try to evaluate this one the denominators are common so you're going to get one plus two x plus three y this one being equal to, being to the power two then in the numerator you have got 360 when you multiply the two it will be 12 t this one you multiply with that one it will be plus um this one will just be six and then now 
we are differentiating with respect to t so we need all these variables to be t so i'm going to replace where there's x with our um 3t to the power 2 so dy over t is going to be equal to 12 t plus 6 over 1 plus um here it's 3t squared so it will be um 6 t squared and then we have um we're having it added to 3y 3y y is 2t so y will now be um 6t or this is squared and thus you found the total derivative of du by dt so this is the recap of the steps du by dt is given by partial du over partial dx times partial dx over partial dt plus partial du over partial dy times partial dy over partial dt that's all for me subscribe and share with others